Today's pharmaceutical supply chain presents a tremendous diversity of product handling scenarios, many of which must now be RFID enabled. These include automated filling lines, conveyor systems, dock door portals, POS terminals. These products will be handled as individual items, totes, cases, and pallets. What's more, the products themselves will be manufactured in various dose forms, gel caps, liquids, powders, tablets. And they'll be packaged in bottles, blister packs, vials, and other forms. That's a tall order. And where the RFID component of the supply chain is concerned, the pharmaceutical industry demands nothing short of Six Sigma performance. The solution? UHF Gen 2, the only RFID technology with the flexibility to operate in all scenarios from the item level to the pallet level, handle all of the many product material and packaging forms, and do so with unprecedented throughput and accuracy worldwide. I'm Vince Moretti. In the course of this video, we'll demonstrate UHF Gen 2 performance on all these materials at item, case, and pallet levels, and in all these application scenarios. More importantly, we'll do it all using the same Gen 2 certified Speedway Reader and Gen 2 certified Monza powered tags. Our goals are simple. Ensure compliance with e-pedigree and serialization requirements and create business value at the same time while also improving operating efficiencies. The good news is we're already doing this in major pharma deployments and to that end we've made RFID integration easy. Let's take a look at a typical pharmaceutical packaging line and see how this works. Individual bottles travel along a conveyor where they are bundled into shrink-wrapped inner packs or kits. The bundles are consolidated into cases and the cases into pallets. Each individual bottle on the line is RFID tagged, which uniquely identifies it. At certain points along the line, RFID operations occur. For example, the bottle's tags are encoded with EPC data received from the system and then read at a later point where the system might compare and verify the tag data with the camera read of a 2D barcode that is also printed in line. This particular RFID station can be eliminated if you're not incorporating redundant 2D barcoding in the line, which of course would simplify the deployment. A reader further down the line might read the tags of bottles bundled into inner packs. When the bundles are packaged into cases, the bottles and the case tag are read. Finally, when a pallet of cases is completed, it gets shrink-wrapped, tagged, and read along with the case tags. An electronic pedigree is established, and an advanced shipping notice is issued as the product leaves the plant. Now at each of these points, item, case, and pallet, parent-child relationships are created. The bottles are associated with cases, and the cases with pallets. Through these nested associations, we can maintain complete traceability and authentication of the product. All this data is stored in the reference database and referenced again further down the supply chain. For example, when the product is received by a distribution center or a dispensing entity. The RFID tags can be pre-encoded by your label converter or encoded real-time on the line. In the latter case, the bottles may be tagged and programmed in conventional and in more innovative ways. This high-speed labeler is encoding, locking, and verifying the RFID tags that will be applied to the bottles at the turret station of the labeling system, and it does so at a rate of 300 labels per minute. The RFID tag can also be embedded directly into the bottle, like these wide mouth packers. Look closely. A tiny UHF Gen 2 tag is integrated into the bottle itself, centered right in the base. This is a tremendous breakthrough for pharmaceutical fill line efficiency. By incorporating the RFID tag directly into the package, the drug manufacturer has inventory visibility from the moment of the receipt of the bottle, even before it's filled. And the tamper-resistant features of the package enhance supply chain safety and security as well. Speaking of product safety and security, RFID provides a simple solution to product authentication and anti-counterfeiting. When product is tagged using Impinja's Monza ID chips, the tags include an additional 64-bit serialized ID that becomes associated with the tag's 96-bit EPC, further securing the drug's pedigree. And the simple authentication process can be applied anywhere along the supply chain, particularly when the product changes hands. 